Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I am here with a home theater PC PC build and um, I have actually been really looking forward to making this build. Um, yeah, let's get into it. For the CPU, I want the AMD A10 5800K 3.8 gigahertz quad core processor. And um, the reason I went with this is because one, it has a slightly lower clock speed than the 6800K, and with the stock cooler, you know, it's a good thing it'll last a lot longer and all that good stuff. Uh, it is slightly less money. It's $100 exactly right now, uh, minus shipping, obviously, but uh, it is a great APU, and being that you don't need insane graphics uh, for a home theater PC, I just made it an APU so that uh, you could support higher resolution TVs or monitors or however you're going to be watching your movies uh, slash TV shows, shows, yep, totally, um, and or other media. So, you know, I just went with an APU. Uh, for the motherboard, I went with the MSI Socket FM2 A75 MAE35 Micro ATX motherboard. This is $59.91 and is a beast of a motherboard. It's also Micro ATX and probably the best motherboard for Socket FM2. Um, and obviously, being that it is micro ATX, it will be able to fit into our case and uh, everything like that. So, yep, for the memory, I want the G Skill Rip Jaws series, 8 gigabytes, which is two sticks of 4 gigabytes. DDR3 1600 megahertz memory. This is 60 or $76, should I say, uh, and is very, very good memory. You really didn't need, or you really don't need, I should say, super fast memory. To support the APU um, because you know we're not really gaming all we need is uh, a lot of dedicated VRAM and being that we have 8 gigabytes uh, that will definitely be the case because um, you know you could load higher resolutions onto uh, your TV as I said before or your monitor or wherever you're gonna be watching your movies um, slash TV shows slash other media Holy crap, I cannot talk today. Uh, for the storage, I went with the Seagate Barracuda 2TB, 7200 RPM internal hard drive. Right now, after the $5 mail-in rebate, this is $81.53 and is a great hard drive. Um, does have more failures on average than Western Digital, and I've said that in a million other videos before. But I couldn't really afford to go with Western Digital in this build, being that it is a home theater PC and being that... Um, you're not going to spend a buttload of money on a home theater PC, but nonetheless, this is two terabytes, so it will be able to store all of your media, and, uh, yeah. For the case, I went with the Silverstone ML04B home theater PC case. This is kind of expensive, it's $75, but, uh, it's one of the highest rated home theater PC cases that I have seen, so... Yep, not much to say there. Micro ATX can fit our MSI motherboard and um, high build quality. Nothing much to say. For the power supply, I went with the Corsair CX430 um, 80 Plus Bronze Certified Semi Modular ATX Power Supply. So it is the CX430M version. So it is semi modular, as I said. And uh, it's got a $10 mail in rebate right now, which means it's $35. And. Um, yeah, not much to say there. It will support our build quite easily, being that we are using an APU. And, uh, yeah, not much to say. Like this video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. I post content daily. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.